everyone. Today, Flat Aggie and I are going to take you on an adventure and we're going to talk about apples. First, we're going to read the book about apples and it's written by Ken Robbins. An apple. It's a wonderful thing, a perfect handful of portable food. So food that is portable is something we can take with us. It's edible, we can eat it, it has its own skin, it's not messy. So a lot of times if I go, am going to work in the morning, I will take an apple and I will eat it in the car on the way. Because I don't have to bring a bowl, don't have to bring a cereal, or a spoon or the milk to get messy. So it's something we can take with us to eat. Apples, of course, are a kind of fruit. They are round and shiny, delicious and sweet, crisp to the bite, and they grow on trees. People have been growing them for thousands of years. And here's a picture of the apples. They can be red, like this red delicious. They can be yellow, like this yellow delicious. They can be green, like this Granny Smith, or they can be a combination. They could have some red and some green and some yellow on them. But the three main colors are red, yellow, and green. Have you ever seen a star inside of the apple? It looks like this, okay? Now, when you cut an apple, you normally cut it as you set it on, set it up and then you can cut it this way. Well, we're going to turn it on its side like this and we're going to cut through the main middle part of the apple to find the star that's inside. Maybe some of you have done this before. Okay, here's a picture, excuse me, here's a, a part of the apple. It has five different parts of the core and this one shows a little bit better. It has a seed in each one and when you look at that it looks like a star. In 10 years, if you would plant that seed, in ten, it takes 10 years for that tree to get big, big enough and ready to grow the fruit. Here's a picture of the man that takes care of the apple orchard and he takes care of the trees. He's cutting the bad branches that maybe have died or are diseased out of the tree. In the spring, when it gets ready to bear fruit, there are pink or white blossoms that come on the tree. And soon, the people that take care of the orchard bring out the beehives. Okay, in the beehives are the bees, and the bees like the blossoms. They go from blossom to blossom to blossom. And as they go from blossom to blossom to blossom, the hair on their legs will ha be picking up some of the pollen that's in one of the blossoms. As the bee goes to the next blossom, he may deposit some of that pollen and that is what makes the blossom pollinate and grow the little apple. Here's a picture of the blossom where the bee is on there and he's going to get the pollen. This is the inside, if you took all these petals off, this is the inside of the blossom and that's where the nectar is that the bee likes and the pollen. The flowers are then fertilized and the next thing that happens is the little green apple starts to form. The petals fall off of the flower and that is what's left. It will soon grow into a small little apple. If the, seed, the seeds are inside of that and if they were ever planted, they would make a new tree. Here are the red, shiny, mature apples. It takes 10 to 20 weeks for the apples to reach full size and ripen. So by the, when you are getting out of school, 
They, it takes all summer for them to ripen. And when you go back to school in August, the limbs of the trees are chock full of fruit. Here's a picture of a man and he's picking the apples, okay? When you go to the grocery store and you find an apple that has a bruise on it, that means that the apple has fallen or gotten bumped. Do we like to have an apple? Do we like to eat an apple, I guess, that has a bruise on it? The bruise part doesn't taste very good, does it? So if they use machines to pick these apples, a lot of them will get bruised. So this man is picking them by hand. He's being very careful so that he doesn't bruise them. At some orchards, you can pick your own. So here's a little boy, and he's getting to pick his own. Some apples will be squeezed in presses for apple juice and apple cider. The apple press is nearly 100 years old. And here's the apple juice that you guys like to drink. Some apples will be peeled and sliced and sugared and spiced and baked in a pie. And some will be cored and quartered and tossed into a pot with a fire under it and they will be cooked up into applesauce. And some will just be taken in a hand, perhaps rubbed on a shirt and polished. But it is a wonderful, wonderful, crisp, crunchy way to eat an apple. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the apple chain. We're going to re try and remember all the parts to it. We started with the seed, didn't we? We planted the seed, and after 10 years, can you remember what grew from the seed? An uh, apple tree, didn't it? Now, when you look at the apple tree it has that I made for you, it has two holes in it, doesn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to add this apple tree to the string that is attached to the seed. So we're going to put the string down through one side, one hole, and we're going to bring it up through the other hole. And we're going to add it right next to the seed on our string. Okay, after the tree was old enough to start bearing fruit, what grew in the spring on the tree? Does anybody remember? A blossom okay now the blossom if you look at it has two holes just like the tree did so we're going to put the string down through one hole and we're going to bring it up through the other hole and we're going to add it to our chain just like the other time okay so we started with the seed then the tree grew then the blossom what went from blossom to blossom to blossom do you remember you're right, a B, okay? So our B has two holes in it, just like the other things. So we're going to take the string, we're gonna put it down through one of the holes, and we're gonna bring it up through the other hole, and we're gonna add it to our apple chain. Okay, now, after the B went from blossom to blossom to blossom, do you remember what grew? the small green apple. It has two holes in it, doesn't it? So we're gonna put the string down through the one hole, up through the other hole, and we're gonna add it to our chain. Okay, then after 10 or 20 weeks, and it's about time for school to start, the apples are getting ripe, aren't they? So the last thing we're gonna to add to our chain is the red apple. Now there's only one hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a string and we're just going to knot it because that's the last thing we're going to add to our chain. And this is what your chain will look like. What did we start with? We started with the seed. We planted the seed. It took 10 years and then the apple tree grew. Then the blossom then the bee went from flower to flower to flower, the green apple grew, and then finally the red apple was ripe and we could pick it. Now, if that tree 
has a bunch of extra apples, or maybe the apples fell and rotted on the ground. Maybe an, uh, an animal came along and picked up the apple and took it to a different place. And if that seed is still in the apple and it rots away, it will grow a new tree. So that's our apple chain. It can go round and round and round. I hope you guys enjoyed our visit today when we talked about apples. And Flat Aggie and I are looking forward to the next time. See you then. Bye.